Hi guys, I thought I'd get you a uh, part three of my Falcon. It's a bit different this video. It's can you rebuild a Falcon on the cheap? Um, yes and no. Um, this is far from original. Uh, if you wanted a Minter, it would cost you an absolute fortune. So the parts are rare as rock and horse. I'm sorry for the English saying here, <laughs> extremely rare. And when they do show up on eBay or any other websites, they are ridiculously expensive, especially a few um, essential bits like the arms, rear arms, uprights. <laughs> pretty much all of it there. Um, so here's what I did with mine. Mine come off eBay, minus the wheels and a rather tired original shell for about £60. It was very cheap but I didn't realise what I was buying. It was a proper dog. So let's start where I, well, start off. The shell is not an original. Sorry about the shaky camera. The shell is a Camtec one which is very impressive. It looks exactly like the original one very solid, very thick and real good quality and also to be a bit retro this one because I didn't have any masking tape I actually hand painted it now inside looks very rough it's probably how many of the original ones were painted and I tried to do it in box art colours but <coughs> the actual finish on top looks very good I'm very very pleased with this now the stickers are not MCI they are a very cheap version of eBay they're more plastic um, um, paper based um, they're not the best to be honest the colours don't match but when I first got this car it was one of my first time as I rebuilt so I didn't really know about MCI or anything like that um, these were off my old Hornet because they were missing and the driver is an old Hornet when I painted up you can't see it very well but apart from that the shell was probably about £30 with the paint all finished so if you want to do that on the cheap you can say mine is run, so I'm not too bothered. But the original decals are impossible to find, and so are original shell. So, if you want to do that for that option, it's perfectly viable. Now, the famous chassis. The original CVAs are ori well, <laughs> original, sorry. And the tyres are original. But the wheels aren't. The wheels are actually grasshopper ones, painted yellow. You can't dye these; they do not dye. I've tried it, trust me. So what I did was basically put a layer of primer on, just like light dust of white primer, and then just painted it with some standard car paint yellow. Very cheap, that the spray was about two pound or something ridiculous. Now the only problem with these ones, especially on the Falcon grasshoppers, they do chunk up around the edges. You can see where the paints come off. So they, they do really chunk up these wheels for some reason. Trying to find original ones, I've seen a set of relatively tidy ones, nothing special, go for about £80 on eBay recently, and I'm not paying that for a set of wheels, especially the cars used. If it was a Shelf Queen, yes I would, to make it absolutely mint, but as this one isn't, but I didn't see the point. Standard, as it came with, mechanical speed controller and servos, again radio gear, I always use the older radio gear in it, regardless of what car, so that's a nice touch, that's cheap, you can get that quite easily. Um, you can also, what mine needs, they've got a crack here on the top strut, suspension mount. It, it's solid because it's got a massive um, threaded bar through it, so it's not going anywhere, but again, hair expensive, incredibly hard to find. The actual old AA battery tray for the radio gear can also go missing and can be hard to find, but fortunately mine come with it. Also, of all things, the battery holder retainer, mine come with it. Again, they can be impossible to find. Um, I have no idea why they go missing because surely you need them to hold the battery but <laughs> that's just one of those things. The motor is original, plastic white end, 1980s motor, works absolutely fine this car, no issues at all. Same original resistor, again works fine, works well so I decided to keep it retro. Now the only other thing is on this car, I was looking with the chassis, mine does have chinks out of it but it's strong so that's a relief. Um, Again, they're prone to go there. This part here is impossible to find. The arms are impossible to find. And the strut mounts are impossible to find. Same as the front bumper. Which again, try and find one of those. Mine is original, luckily enough. Um, and it's relatively good. It is used. Say, so I do use mine, so I'm not too bothered about the wear. Underneath, yeah, it's just typical Falcon usage. And then these yellow bits around the gearbox and the guards, they can be hard work to find as well. So. <laughs> this car is it's one of those cars people always want to re-way but really but rather the time we'll do on in the end we're not sure we are just hoping and waiting basically now these aren't Ampro 
the uprights and the arms are actually a cheap um, I live in the UK these are actually available 3D printed parts for about well red, very cheap I think these each are about £10 and the arms they're about the same price as well they are slightly wrong as you see it sits very very odd camber compared to how the Falcon should fit but again for use they are actually relatively solid they might look weak but they are a bit slack in where they fit but it works if you wanted to use a Falcon and some cheap parts mine, all my original arms are completely shot completely broken and useless I just want to use it and for use they do look slightly wrong again slightly different effect compared to normal smooth plastic but it works if you want a cheap Falcon to run <laughs> if they exist but if you want your Falcon to run without worrying about breaking it they're ideal the other parts I've used are the rear um, rear arms again you can obviously see they are 3D printed parts again from the same shop of eBay they work perfectly well mine was shot and I was just desperate to use this car and not worry about actual breakages so for what I use I don't jump or do anything stupid with it but it is used, it's used on heavy tarmac and gravel and it does get a banging but very chuffed I did find the dog bones fell out of these and the normal one does but with these are arms because they're not quite right they do, if you do a few um, go over a few rocks or bumps they do have a tendency to drop out what I have done is put a few washers on that's a bit crude to bring the drive shafts out so it locks the drive shafts into place but they're so nice and free, they don't, don't lock up but that's just a little mod I recommend if you have that issue um, so there we go guys, you can restore a Falcon on the cheap if you want it to be used so I'm very pleased um, it does get used, like I said, um, quite frequently and again, fingers crossed, everything touch wood and all that it hasn't broke and to be fair, it looks exactly like a Falcon a bit, if you do look close, yeah, it's obviously not quite but if you want to use one, ideal if you want the shower queen and use it, <laughs> you looking at hundreds of pounds for parts so there we go guys you can produce something which is a falcon and usable so i hope that's useful and you enjoyed the video chaps and if you'd like to leave a like or subscribe it'd be very much appreciated so have a lovely evening chaps and good night bye bye thanks for watching